Bianca Sensori was seen without Kanye West, with two men in public at Disneyland. It's weird to see Bianca out and about without Kanye as they rarely make a move without each other, but she looked so happy. Also, I think her style might be changing because she was fully clothed. So the last time Bianca was seen in a theme park, she was with Kanye and she was barefoot, which got a lot of people talking. Hi Kanye! Yo! Hey Kanye! But this time she's wearing more clothing than I've ever seen her in, with a massive smile on her face, enjoying life. She seems to be really happy lately. In other photos of her, she seemed to have been on a shopping spree, and it was actually so cute because she had a huge smile on her face and she looked like she was in paradise. But who are these two mysterious men that she was with? Could it be her two best friends? Are her and Kanye in an open relationship? Are these her boyfriends? Is she doing this to make Kanye jealous? Do they work for her? Bodyguards, maybe? I'm so curious. They all looked like they were having the best day though. I find that Bianca's fashion is very minimalist. She doesn't wear gaudy jewelry. She doesn't wear a lot of bling. Her hair is always neat and she lets her natural beauty shine through with minimum makeup. During her Disneyland trip, apparently her and her friends went on a bunch of roller coasters. They got a VIP tour intended to keep guests away from them, costing $500 to $700 an hour. When I went to the Disney website, it seems that they do have a dress code that guests have to follow. They're really strict about it and this is due to all of the children that go. So it makes sense that Bianca was completely covered up. There are a ton of rules, but going barefoot is an absolute no-go, so it was strange that she was barefoot like the last time she went, but I mean, she's following the rules this time. A lot of people had comments to make about this. One of them said, she looks good with clothes even though she's dressed like a Star Wars character. <laughs> this was funny, but I was actually a huge fan of the boots she was wearing. The rest of her outfit was simple but clean. Star Wars, I don't know. I haven't watched Star Wars. Another person said, whether she's still with West or not, it's clear that this odd woman loves going out in public. Let's face it, it's the only way she can get any of attention. Um, I mean, we do need to leave the house. Don't we all need to go out in public? Or should we just barricade ourselves at home? I mean, I guess when I go to the grocery store after work today, it's because I'm looking for attention, not buying the celery I need to buy. You know what? Being at work right now, it's actually an attention-seeking strategy that I'm trying out. Like, is she not supposed to leave the house? I think we're allowed to do that now, it's not the 1500s. Someone else said, only time I've seen her smile and he's not there. I can't say anything about this one. The paparazzi are known to capture her in more of like a solemn looking expression. She looks like she's having an absolute blast in these photos, but it could be because she's in Disneyland with her friends. A lot of fans were surprised when reports came out that Kanye and Bianca have actually split up. TMZ mentioned that they'd actually been having issues for a while and Bianca was apparently considering a divorce after her family really pushed her to walk away from her unconventional marriage. But with that being said, this is all hearsay. The last few things I've seen about Bianca, she looked very happy. But could it be because she finally pulled the plug and got out of the relationship? Another speculation online is that Kanye and Bianca's marketing team started the breakup rumors to draw away from the fact that Kanye actually has a few massive lawsuits going on right now. Um, one of them is because apparently he's not treating his workers great. And then another one is a girl that's trying to sue him for some stuff. So the rumors are that he wasn't paying his employees properly, also that he was making them eat outside, even if it was blizzarding or storming. The other lawsuit is due to one of his employees coming out saying that he was showing her texts between him and Bianca. He had an obsession with trying to do the deed with his partner's moms. In the leaked text, he was telling his wife Bianca what he wanted to do with her mom, saying that he wanted Bianca to watch. Ugh. I'm really hoping this isn't true. I'm a huge Kanye fan and this is just too freaking weird. Let's say it is true though. With the Kardashians' habit of sharing guys, would it be a stretch to say that Kim might have shared her ex-husband with her mom? I hope not. But would I be surprised? No. The Kardashians are long rumored to have shared men. Examples of this would be Travis Scott. Rumor had it before he dated Kylie, he was dating Kendall. There was actually a photo of them online from way back in the day, Kendall and Travis holding hands. It's hard to find, but it's out there. Also, Courtney's current husband, Travis Barker. This one is like so bizarre. Before Travis got married to Courtney, him and Kim had a thing. He even wrote in his book how in love with her he was. This one's so crazy, it's actually like unbelievable. And people even say that this is why Kim and Courtney's beef has gotten so wild. The biggest one of all, in my opinion, is Drake. Apparently he got with not one, not two, not three, but four women in the family. Kylie, Kendall, Kim, and Chris. He even got with Chris? It's not a good habit to be sharing dudes like this, but with the weirdness of Hollywood and the weirdness of the Kardashians, I wouldn't be surprised. 
With that being said, I love the Kardashians. I think all of them are so beautiful and hardworking, but I just can't get past sharing men with your siblings and your mom. It's strange. People commented on this online, but they didn't really hold it against the Kardashians. They were more so taking digs at Drake. One said, Drake with pretty much any woman is believable. The man belongs to the streets. Another person said, Drake has a habit of getting what he wants wherever he wants. He wanted to become an actor, he did that. He wanted to become the top selling recording artist, he did that. He wanted Toronto to win a championship and it happened. He's clearly an incredibly powerful person or he's some type of plant. When it comes to this comment, I can't really comment because I don't think he's a plant. I think he's genuinely talented. But if he was able to get with three Kardashians and one Jenner, he definitely has some type of power. It's not confirmed, but fans are pretty adamant about this online. It is confirmed that the Kardashians have a habit of sharing dudes though, and I just don't even wanna think about it because it's not a habit I wanna encourage. But there are many other instances where the Kardashians have shared dudes. And all of it's online if you feel like diving into the rabbit hole. Oh, Justin Bieber is one of them. Even though Haley is besties with Kendall, Kendall and Justin used to have a thing. But apparently he also got with Kylie, he also got with Courtney, and he did a weird photo shoot with Kim when he was 15. Anyhow, hopefully they all find suitable partners that they will never have to share with another sibling or mom ever again. And hopefully Bianca keeps up the great work of wearing clothes. I'm your host Jess, and I hope you have a fabulous day.